Central Washington's news leader, Heidi Adams, Gary Fashot Sports, to Cybel Weather. This is KIMA Newsbeat at 11. Good evening. It's a discovery more gruesome than the movie Silence of the Lambs. Police today in Milwaukee wore yellow rubber suits and breathed from air tanks while removing boxes of body parts from a fly-infested apartment. As Jay Levine reports, it was perhaps the suspect who lived in this apartment's next victim that escaped who was able to lead police to the gruesome discovery. This is what it looked like late last night. Police began to gather evidence after coming to the apartment with the man who claimed to have been attacked here. We seen a guy, the police bring a guy back, you know, a young guy back, and um, he had one handcuff on and everything, and he was complaining about somebody in the building that was harassing him. Inside the horrifying discovery of body parts in drawers, preserved human heads in a refrigerator, and IDs belonging to several local men who'd been reported missing. The suspect was quickly taken into custody. When the police just came in, they came with all kind of chains and handcuffs, and they chained him down. He was kicking and scratching and hollering like a cat. It's obvious that there is has been a number of human specimens found within the uh, apartment, and to a certain extent, they have been there sometime. More human bones were reportedly found late this afternoon in a dumpster out behind the apartment building. As police continue to search the area for evidence, pouring through trash containers, combing weeded areas out back, scouring the inside of the one-bedroom apartment for clues. Neighbors, even friends of the suspect, said they smelled something wrong a year ago. It stunk. <laughs> it what did stunk. it smell like? Rotten meat. And you noticed it, and he said he had a problem with his freezer? Yeah, with his freezer. And you believe him? Yeah, I didn't have any, why should I suspect him? The neighborhood, meanwhile, remains in a state of shock, awaiting the true dimensions of the crime, charges against the suspect, and word on whether or not he acted alone. Jay Levine for CBS News, Milwaukee. Milwaukee police tonight have confirmed the identity of the suspect. He is 31-year-old Jeffrey Dahmer. The Milwaukee Sentinel tonight is quoting an unidentified source as saying Dahmer has confessed to killing 11 men. The newspaper also says there may have been as many as 18 victims and that the man has confessed to cannibalism. The Milwaukee Sentinel also quotes other sources who say police found 11 skulls scattered in a file cabinet, a closet, a refrigerator, and a freezer. Three headless torsos were also reportedly found in the men's bedroom. Police will not confirm the reports. Damer's only prior criminal conviction was second-degree sexual assault for enticing a child for immoral purposes. He is currently on probation for that charge. He is officially being held on suspicion of homicide.